I'm I'm down to come to Brazil. Oh, Holy God. cow, I love Brazil! <laughs> I promised myself I'd be open to any possibility. And this seems like it's the one. Fabricio Brazil. <gasps> Holy <gasps> cow, I love Brazil! Uh, it's so sweet. You like yeah. it, you like it, you like it sweet. I've Roma. never been to Brazil. You're going to Brazil next week. I'm going to Brazil week. next week. So yeah. that's so exciting. Holy cow. No, yeah. you're coming to Brazil. Yes, 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 yeah. I'm in Sao Paulo for a little bit. Portuguese on points. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. I've got a crash course. I've just found out my flight's at a book now. So yeah, from tomorrow, well tonight I'm gonna start start learning. Yeah. So in this show, we actually get to experience Paris <laughs> through your characters. I was wondering, was there something that the city has taught not only your character, but also for you guys, like as actors or even personally? Oh, love that question. Oh, I love Paris. I feel like the city has taught Emily so much about, you know, this idea between living to work and working to live and a work-life balance and really just enjoying being present in the moment and you never know with Paris what's gonna happen there's so many things that can change the trajectory of your day and I think that Emily was so used to a very type A lifestyle and when she moved to Paris it's like the floodgates opened and her life just gained a lot more sparkle uh, and so I think that Paris itself has kind of brought that to me too just I guess it's like the sweet, sweet nectar that Paris has, you know? Yeah, it's like diving that? into, again, just like diving into that guava, that, 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 that juice, that, <laughs> that, that goodness. Yeah. And I think that Paris just brings that out of, 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 in the show. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. And I think that like us, both of us, our first time Being in, in Paris, Paris yeah. was filming this show. And we're both from, like, you're from the UK in a city mm. outside of Manchester in the, the farmland. Yeah. But like yeah, yeah. you, um, are from like London-ish and yeah. then I'm from like I was in New York for like 10 years before this so like coming to a city like this we were like um, how to discover a city for the first time and yeah yeah we the, the discovery the discovery and I, th I feel like that's the beautiful thing about the show I, as much as the characters are discovering it we're discovering it as well for the first time mm -hmm. whereas that's kind of ties into season four we, we, we know these characters we know the city a little bit more and um, yeah, it's 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 forever giving. Yeah, I guess. And I think the season is very romantic. I mean, Paris is the city of love. So, what is the perfect soundtrack for a romantic date in the city? Ooh, I think, I think my husband would want me to say jazz, because we always want to go try to see a live jazz performance, but I never seem to have the time with filming. But there's always jazz playing in like all these bars, and so we just hear it from the streets. Um, so I say I would say that jazz plays a big role in that. Wow, I think oh, I think it start off with some Burner Boy, some Thames, but <laughs> essential C. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. That's my, Paul's. My that's boyfriend Paul's is British as well. Favorite Paul, song. Yeah, you guys both yeah, love yeah, Central C yeah. and that stuff. But, but I, I, you know what? I think first and second season I listened to a lot of Angel, um, yeah. and a lot of like French pop. But honestly, like. When I when I want to listen to like French cafe music, yeah. that like that gets me so in the vibe, and it's like different jazz like j jazz covers of the classics that we know. And so yeah, yeah. I think I'm I'm mad into French hip hop at the minute as well. I think these I can't understand much of it. My French is getting better, but it's a little bit quick for me. But I like to test myself. But um, but yeah, I think I think I think Paris is just so musical. Well, I know you you busk yeah. on the show, but actually. France is the, uh, Paris is the first city, because in, in New York and everywhere else I've been, I've always like walked with air, uh, yeah, AirPods yeah, yeah. in, and it's the first time when I'm filming it, like I, I usually don't, I walk just listening to the sounds the around sounds, me, yeah. and I've never done that before. Emily always loves to learn new words and expressions in French, but if you had to learn another language other than French, which language would you choose? Danish. I would Ooh, definitely, I would definitely want to start to learn how to uh, speak in Danish. It would be very helpful for me. <laughs> but I think we need Emily in Brazil because I think you would love to learn some words in Portuguese. Yes, I've I've been to Brazil when I was um, a a kid, but I I as Emily have never been, and I I hear that Brazil really like likes the show, and we so appreciate that. So I'm I'm down to come to Brazil. Aw, oh, thank you guys so much in Brazil. We're so grateful for all of you and all your support. We love you so much, and we hope that you enjoy this season, and sending lots of love.